hello there let me start off by saying this is quite a lengthy video so please make use of the timestamps in case you don't want to watch everything um yeah so that they can help you out and you can watch what specifically um you want to get out of this tutorial but otherwise hello and welcome to my channel if you're new hey i hope you consider subscribing but if you're a returning subscriber thank you you know you're the real mvp so in this little jar you can see that i have already cut up um some smaller aloe vera leaves i already removed the gel that i needed not a whole lot um, but I wanted to make use of them and show you. Um, but as well, I have this very big aloe vera leaf, as I said before. I've been growing aloe vera and you will need a thick leaf. So don't use anything too thin because it will be hard to get the gel out. So make sure that your aloe vera leaf is thick enough for you to get out that aloe vera. Then of course you will need something to help you separate um, the gel gel from the other stuff in the aloe vera leaf and of course a container or in my case a small bucket that I'm using just so I have um, enough room for all my aloe vera so I have already removed the spiky parts and we're going to get into removing the green part of the aloe vera leaf or the covering so i've already removed the yellow stuff by i just left this left my aloe vera leaves to sit in some water for like 30 minutes and it was enough so instead of cutting the aloe vera leaf into smaller segments i actually saw a tip from i have forgotten the youtuber's name but she said it's actually easier to treat your aloe vera leaf as if you are filleting a fish so that is what we're going to do with our aloe vera leaf instead of cutting it into smaller pieces and it's a little bit harder to get the gel from the covering we're just going to fillet the leaf as one whole piece so you can see that i angled my knife sort of a little bit upward so that i wouldn't cut into the actual aloe vera flesh so as you are pulling away the top covering take your time remember that aloe vera can be extremely slippery so take your time use your hands where you can go as steady as possible and also this is why i said use the thickest leaf you can find um it doesn't have to be the longest but make sure that it's thick enough um so that you're able to um use your utensil to cut away the top part and it won't be too hard for you to separate the aloe vera flesh from the um, green part the covering i'm not sure what the scientific name is but you get the idea so yes i just continued carefully going down making sure to take my time so that i don't injure myself remember anywhere where you're using anything sharp take your time okay So already as i'm separating that top part you can see that we still have some gel on the leaf so i'm just going to scrape that gel off the leaf because we do not want to waste any of the aloe vera so i'm going to um, scrape the top part um, the the part that we've just removed and scrape away all that aloe vera juice and scrape as much as you can and as i keep on saying take your time don't rush through this um because we will not be using a blender in this method um i would say yeah take your time and even if you were actually using a blender you still need to take your time you do not want to waste any aloe vera i'm blessed that i don't have to worry about where i'm going to buy it but in maybe some of you who are watching you don't have aloe vera readily available in your garden so yeah you don't want to waste it <laughs> so take your time get as much of the aloe vera um, gel or flesh as you can So 
something I will add is do keep a cloth in handy because aloe vera gel can be very slimy so um, if you want use gloves so I don't advise that because it might cause you to not have enough grip but do have a cloth next to you just so you can wipe away where you need it so I'm going to cut off that little top part of the leaf just so it's easier for me to grab the aloe vera leaf so the same way we remove the top part is the same technique we are going to use to remove the rest of the flesh so this time instead of angling my knife upward i am going to angle it slight, slightly downward um so i just made my life um easier that instead of holding the aloe vera leaf i decided to just plop it down on the counter um so whichever way is comfortable for you do that i found that putting it down gave me a bit more sturdy grip because again i've been touching i had been touching aloe vera so i didn't want you know things to start slipping around and to cut myself so you can see there that um i ended up cutting a bit of the bottom part um and i i went back and just took my time to separate it how i needed it remember that we're trying to get the aloe vera flesh um out of the 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 green leafy part so take your time go steady you know this is not something you want to rush into remember lives slimy you don't want to take the risk and end up hurting yourself and i'm glad that the knife i was using was not a super sharp knife you can actually do this even with a scraper you can do this with i've forgotten the name i think it's a cake cutter or something like that you know the one they used to serve cake or to cut cake pieces you can use that as well you don't need something extremely sharp so you can see we got most of the aloe vera flesh and from here you don't even need to use a knife you can simply use your fingers to just um, get it into smaller pieces so at this point is where some people would prefer to use a blender just to get the process going faster i decided not to use a blender because when i used to use a blender my aloe vera gel would come out very liquidy and this time i didn't want that because i do want to use this as a deep conditioner and add a few more things so i didn't want it to be runny um, I wanted it to keep its very thick consistency so I decided okay let me try and make it without a blender um, so we go back again with this part again you can see that there's a lot there's still some aloe vera gel and some aloe vera flesh left on the second part um, that we just removed the second leafy greeny part so go back in and scrape it it's, it's still quite a lot so I'm very happy with the investment I made. It did take some patience for me to wait for my aloe vera to grow, but I am so excited and so happy. And even with the type of species that I chose, there's actually different types of species of aloe vera. So the one you want to look out for is the one that produces um, the biggest flesh i will research and i you should see the name of the type of species of aloe vera that usually produce this kind of leaves because not all of them you know grow in this way um so yeah we're just making sure to get all of that goodness all of it no wasting over here none at all and um, uh, you can see that i still have i didn't throw away the aloe vera um leafy part and that is because i'm trying to find a way to make use of every part of the aloe vera so 
um, I decided to dry those out so if I find a way next week I'm gonna show you what I did with them so I'm just going back in to create smaller pieces because um, some of the pieces I made were a little bit big um, and then I'm going in to transfer this into the smaller bucket again I'm making sure to um, make them as small as I can because again I'm not using a blender for this method if you want to go ahead but as I said because of the way I want my aloe vera gel to come out I am not using a blender so I'm transferring this to the bucket um, so that in the next clip I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the aloe vera yes I'm going to use my hands and it took me a minute it took me a hot minute to get this aloe vera where I wanted it to be so I decided to use my hands to make the aloe vera pieces as small as I can get them so that it's easier for me to squeeze out the aloe vera gel from the flesh so yeah I, I had to even after this I went on for an extra I say it took me about 30 minutes you can speed up this process with um, a potato masher or something like that something that um, would help you get these pieces as small as you can if you as well would like to um, make use of the aloe vera gel but without the blender or you just simply don't have a blender you can get a potato smasher and smash away <laughs> at the aloe vera flesh so um yeah i just continued to get them as small as possible so what i was doing was i would grab the aloe vera and squeeze it in my hand so you can already see that there's a lot of the gel coming out um yeah i will continue this process of camera and we will go into the next step So after all my hard work, this is the result. You can still see some small chunks in my aloe vera gel, but that's okay. Um, we're, we're, we're gonna get them out. This is how much aloe vera um, their gel there is now. So a big mistake I made is I was trying to scoop the aloe vera gel um, into um, this cloth that I used to sieve it's like a I'd say like a cotton type of material though it's much closer to what you like I would say like cheese cheesecloth type of material but anyway the mistake I made was I was trying to scoop it out with my hand and I realized that this thing is so sticky like it just sticks to my hand so I just poured it into um, this uh, cloth and I'm glad that I use something like this because the fact that it's um, sewn into like a in the form of like a small bag it made it easier for me to hold the gel it made it easier for me to squeeze out everything so I'd say if you have some cheesecloth maybe try to get to get one that is already sewn into like the shape of a bag it will make your life easier and the fact that it has strings made it even easier you can tie it at the top i just decided not to not for any special reason so when you do start to squeeze out the aloe vera it might take some time to get it to um, start coming out but once it does um, you will you will see it, it it just takes a few seconds maybe like 30 seconds to a minute and your aloe vera will start coming out this also took a while so be ready <laughs> you will need to apply some some elbow grease um, it took me another like 30 minutes of just working on the aloe vera gel and squeezing it out but it was worth it and I'm glad that I used this particular material to um, squeeze out my aloe vera gel so that I could separate um, some of the there's some white stuff you find in aloe vera gel that if you're not careful to sieve it out properly you're going to have some white stuff stuck in your hair so be careful of that ensure that sieve it well 
so that you don't get that residue and you don't get that white stuff on your hair yeah it did take me some time but i'm so grateful that i tried this out because now i know that i can make my aloe vera gel without any fuss although i will need you know some elbow grease i will need some patience but thankfully this did not take me the whole day and um, you can use a sieve but again with the sieve you have to go back in and filter out the white stuff with like a cheesecloth or something similar so hopefully this helps you out This is how much I was able to get out. So you can see that I was actually able to get out probably like 95, maybe 98% of the gel from all the aloe vera flesh. And I'm so happy. It was so worth it. So here I have about, let me say 280, around there, 300 milliliters of aloe vera gel which is actually a lot and you can see that it kept its consistency and i'm very happy about that make sure you stay tuned because next week i'll be showing you a short demo of how i use it on my hair thank you for watching i hope this helped and i'll see you in my next video Mwah. bye